This is Hollywood. And this is Black Hollywood. While the rest of America sees this world through the glamour on screen, I live its daily reality. That's me, Quincy Allen, entertainment publicist and full-time fire extinguisher. I grew up here with my dad, so Hollywood isn't just my home. It's my hometown. Today's my 26th birthday. One of those non-milestones that should go off without a hitch. This is how I looked earlier in the day. And this is how I'll look by the end of it. But to fully explain what's become the second worst day of my life, let's take a look back at the first. This is how I looked 12 weeks ago. In one month, I lost the two most important things in my life. First, my beloved father passed away. Two weeks later, my fiancé, Derek, doubled that heartache by calling off our engagement. These are my friends. They're my only real family now. And I love them. Sometimes. Courtney! Trust me, Q, I saw this on Montel. Just breathe and tell the camera how you feel. As always, my friends had strong opinions about my tragic situation. Album. Quincy and I used to date, so I've seen her lose it, but nothing like this. See, Quincy's father was a celebrity, so when he passed, she never really got the chance to privately mourn. Everybody loves Charlemagne Allen. He was like the black Harry Belafonte. Well, she was crushed. Just devastated. And then, after the funeral, her fiancé calls off the wedding. I mean, do straight bounce. Oh, oh. And she had just sent out the invitations. No one expected it. Thing is, Quincy and Derek, they made sense. He was a ball player, and she was like the black Nicole Richie. Nicole is black, girl. Sure. I just remember the whole deal was really tough on Quincy emotionally. Oh, it was. I mean, Derek owns a private jet. What, sweetie? He does. Needless to say, 25 was not my number. So to celebrate a new age and a new start, my friends decided to throw me something intimate. Low-key. Instead, I saw this. Hi, I'm Quincy Allen. Nope, not on the list. Back of the line, please. Really? Uh, well, the thing is, this is my party. So, uh, all of these people are, well, they're more or less here for me. Oh, hell no. If I gotta stand in line, I know she gotta wait in line. Except her, I don't know her. Hey, yo, shorty, get in line. Yeah, hit the back. Okay, you know what? Here. I'm just gonna call my friend who's inside. Hit the back! Hit the back! Hit the back! Hit the back! While the view outside was less than inviting, things inside weren't looking much better. This is my party, so why don't I know anyone? Johnny Gill was here earlier. Oh, then he got robbed and left. I think that's Gary Coleman on the slip and slide. Look, just so you know, this little fiasco was not my idea. Who was it? Oh, surprise, girl! <laughs> I know, I know you said you wanted something small, but I thought it'd be cute to raise some money for charity. Which charity, Courtney? Which? I thought that was just an expression. And by the looks of this party, you'll be needing it. You know, if you complain one more time, you'll what? Pimp my ride? Guys, guys, look. Thank you for all of this. I mean it. And the most important thing to me is that we are all here together. So I would like to make a toast. To nothing holding us back. And to everything. Even the horribly bad things. 
propelling us forward. Oh, speaking of horribly bad. The horribly bad was Derek Westlake, star Lakers forward, and the most painful breakup of my life. What's he doing here? Oh, no, Q. No, it's fine. I mean, I'm just gonna... I'm just, I'll just go over and say hello. And suddenly, I was not fine. Mm -hmm.